My MST 400, it's a kit radio from OzQRP, 40 metres, a super heterodyne transmitter and receiver, about 5 watts. It's in pieces at the moment because I'm making some modifications. I'm making, I'm adding an S meter and an AGC circuit. This is the S meter. It's an edge mounted panel meter, probably one or two hundred microamps. I've built a board that sits underneath it containing the S meter amplifier or the AGC amplifier. The AGC amp circuit is from Peter Parker VK3YE. It uses a light dependent resistor. So the circuit's quite simple. The audio comes in from before the volume control to a 2N3094 amplifier stage, a half wave rectifier, single diode there, a second amplifier, and that drives an LED. I've used a high intensity white LED here which, as you can see, lights the surface of a light-dependent resistor. The LDR is simply coupled across from the top end of the, of the audio gain control to earth. So when light levels are low, it has a high resistance, but as it's exposed to the LED's light, the, its resistance drops. So it's effectively driving the audio gain up and down. Let's try the AGC out. Here's a CW signal that's really varying quite significantly in strength. This is with the AGC off. Now with the AGC on. Here's a nice strong digital signal on 7079 with the AGC on with the AGC off, really pushing the receiver to the point of distortion, AGC on again. Here's a weak CW signal with the AGC off and with it on, AGC off, AGC on. So one final test, I'll monitor my station transceiver, my ICOM 746, running into a dummy load. So this is with AGC on. And off. And on. This circuit's quite clever because it doesn't need a gain-controlled audio or IF stage to work. The LDR just simply acts as a continuously varying resistor across the volume control, thereby dropping the level of audio signal at the input of the audio stage.